Hey, hey, welcome to another episode. I'm Cliff, and today I'm going to be working with some plaster cloth. You can get this at Hobby Lobby or order it on Amazon or your local craft store. But I'm going to be using this to make a mold of this. I want to make this out of steel. To make this out of steel, I got to make a mold. I'll show you how I do that. So if you want to see how it's done, stay tuned. So earlier I was out shopping and I was waiting for the store to open so I can get some new shirts. Got these guys, nothing special, just a plain t-shirt. But uh, yeah, I had to kill some time. So I went to the dollar store and I found this skull for a dollar. It's Halloween time, find this stuff all over the place. So I saw this, decided I want to make a mold of it. I have some of this plaster cloth left over. To start with making a mold from this stuff, you don't want the plaster sticking to your piece. I don't really care about this, but uh, I want the plaster to release from this without a problem. So to do that, cover it with a hefty bag. There it is. Just make sure it's going to smash into place. So special note, I'm only going to be taking a mold of from here over this way, not the back half. The back half, you can easily make by hand. It's just a domed surface. If you really need to, you can make another mold of the backside so it'll fit, but I'm not gonna do that today. So I'm just gonna focus on this front part, make sure I get all that detail. You don't have to do a skull, you can mold anything you want. This is what I want. And I don't have my small scissors today, so I gotta use my big shears. This is the plaster cloth. You wanna cut it into small strips. So I'm not gonna need all of it, I don't think. So I'll save the rest for another project. Now that I've got the small strips to activate this stuff, I just took a water bottle, cut it in half, fill it with water. So I don't have to wash anything. When I'm done with this, I can just throw it away. Less cleanup. Just dunk it in water. Squeeze off the excess. Start layering it on. Pressing it in to the details you want. It'll hold better once you get a few on there. You know what? I'm not going to use that bag. That bag is really getting in the way. This skull is only a dollar, so I don't care. The more layers you add, the stronger it's going to be. So I'm double layering the edges so that they're not so weak. Make sure you press it in to all the details so it will transfer. Okay, you can just kind of smooth it out with your finger. This side isn't going to really matter. I'm using this for the inside. Now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit in the sun until it's dry and we'll see how it comes off. plaster should be dry by now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull the skull out of the mold. Probably gonna be a little tough, but what I can do. There it is. And now I got the mold on the inside. Probably trim it a little bit. I can get in there. Cause I'm gonna be going inside and welding stuff in there. So I'm gonna cut away probably this bottom piece and a little bit up here. And there's the mold. Probably got to let it dry just a little more because this wasn't exposed to any air. So maybe set it out in the sun and uh, let it harden up. Show you the inside details. Depending on what the project is, some of them, you don't have to put the plastic bag over if you really don't care about it. 
this is a dollar from the dollar store. I didn't really care about it, so I got my mold from that. I wanted to do a mold of my MIG gun for my welder. I want to do one from scrap metal, so I took a mold of one side and I took a mold of the other side. I'm not going to make one. I can, but it's a little wide. But I just want to do one side and one side. Maybe if I want to, I can do a skull and crossbones, but with uh, instead of bones, use the uh, MIG gun. And then I also did, if you saw my predator mask video, um, I did a mold of that. I can transfer that over and do it in another style. I've already welded in this one. Just the uh, scrap metal inside where you want it. Then you just tack it in place. If you're not getting a good ground, you can put uh, some metal tape, like aluminum tape from Home Depot. Just uh, tape it down wherever you are and uh, tape it inside, line the inside. You can actually line the outside as well and weld the outside if you want to. This one I use plastic bag. This one I use plastic bags. This one, nothing. You can make a mold out of whatever you want. You can make a mold from channel locks or this water bottle or I've seen guys do with bases. So that's the end of this video. If you like this content, if you want to see more, like it. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified when I release future videos, and uh, have a nice day.